welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome um, as I was organizing my recollection binders um, my planners I thought let me just turn on the camera and kind of show you the different ways you can use uh, the recollection binders um, if you did not see my previous video I, um, I had a Michaels haul and I had purchased four of these for five dollars each right now um, as of today and today is what January let me make sure January 9th, 2021, um, in case you see this video sometime in the future. Um, they're for $5 um, each. They're um, a great deal. They're great, you know, just for an inexpensive planner. Um, and I already showed, you know, the, the what they look like in my previous video, in my hauls video. And I will link that below in case you're interested. But I thought I'd come on here and really show kind of how to use. Um, I'm sure many of you have already seen how you can use the different video, you know, the planner itself. But in case you're wondering why I have multiples, um, and so I just thought I'd make a quick video. We'll see how long this one is. But you have seen, if you have not seen this, this is my current planner. This one is deringed, and I just put a, uh, you know, just some scrapbook paper there for design and it holds my current planner i have mentioned this before but this reminds me of the franklin covey compact size i love this size it's just perfect if you have a b6 astrology or b6 notebook mine happens to be a b6 slim um, but i have another one of this one and it's this one i kept in the rings because it's silver and I love silver silver is my fave so um so I got multiple colors and so this one I have in a duplicate because I plan to keep one de-ringed and then one in rings now if for whatever reason this one gets damaged you know um, I can easily de-ring that one and replace this one so that's another thought I'm gonna put this one to the side. The reason I say that is because I have two of the iridescent. I bought this one yesterday. And as I pulled this out from the shelf this morning, this one got damaged. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. It kind of, you have to kind of baby this one a little more, I feel. And anyway, I had like a, it's just a, a an insert it was kind of just a monthly insert and it was just small but I guess it had gold you know on the insert and when I laid it upon and I took it off I don't know if it was the humidity but it just peeled that off and ah uh, I was just disheartened I was um, mentioning to a friend of mine that um, I was just totally bummed but I have another one and it's in great condition this one I got for five dollars so now I can keep this one in rings and then de-ring this one and because I like to keep my planners in a de-ringed planner uh, you know like my Nanami or my B, uh, B6 Slim Nanami or B6 Slim Stalogy those are my go-to notebooks so this one I kept in rings I don't think I've ever shown this one here but this one is just my faith uh, if I want to I don't know do topical studies or I have specific inserts on how to do you know how to do that with and I also have inserts there to do chapter studies in the Bible this one I've shown before it's my self-care so I love that I love this uh, you know kind of what do you call this metallic metallic pink and then I have a metallic I don't know cream or I'm not sure what the color they call it um, but this one you have to be careful I will say because if you put uh, my daughter has one in this particular color but if you like if you store it and you put it next to kind of leather and that's what she did it transferred for whatever reason uh, onto the cover and so you have to be careful how you store these this I haven't have you know it hasn't happened yet so this one is de-ringed 
and this is a uh, B6 Stalogy. It's my faith. Um, I put it away. I've used it and um, it still has pages, empty pages. I can go back to it if I feel, you know, so inclined. I do have, I did purchase another one yesterday and I just want one moon rings and I want one de-ringed just because, again, if this one gets damaged, I have that one. I'm not sure if the recollection planners are going um they're just doing away with them i don't know but i love these planners and so i may go today <laughs> and buy a couple more maybe one to replace my iridescent um but let me show this one so this one is a d-ringed but i did have holes in this one and i put strings in it so i can actually use it like a tn and how I've used this one, let me show you right quick, is this is a B6 TN that I have my uh, B6 composition of books. And I've shown this before. Um, I will link it below. Um, but this is just different notebooks that I use I'm trying to keep this video short. I can easily, actually, let me just do this right quick. Let me show you. I can easily, and this, and I did have them in here before. Sometimes when I get bored with a cover, I just switch it out and see, I can put four and use that. And it fits perfectly. Um, I have de-ringed this one. So this one is ready um, for my B6 Slim. So this is what it looks like when you de-ring it. I, many people do it different ways. I, my husband kind of goes in, let me show you. If you can see that little, he takes a drill and drills that out. And so it just pops out and I just make a little slit there. And then I go in and then pull, it's like a plate in there a metal plate and then I slide that out you can leave that in there but the problem with that is it has those um, the plate has the, the I'm not sure what to call it but you can you're able to screw the the rings on there so it sticks out and it will damage your notebook so that's why I like that out now my husband has cut down one because he you know he has all the tools and you can, it's actually kind of, I don't know, what's a technical term, but kind of sand it down. But if you do that, you may damage this. So to avoid all that, I just slide it out. He does cut it down a little bit because it sticks out. So I won't, I won't damage. So it came out pretty good. I just need to put some super glue in there. But for now, it's, that's just, it works for me. And then you can just put, um, you know, scrap of paper in there kind of like I did with my planner to make it decorative and that way let me show you what that looks like in the inside this one I left the plate in there and I don't like it so I may you know pop it out I don't know it's not sharp or anything it's just preference um, but because this is in there, I don't see it out of sight, out of mind. So that's the way. Oh, and this is, um, I got the S on clearance for a dollar at Michael's. And so I finally put it on there. I love it. Okay. So, uh, so I showed you the, again, when you do ring, you can pop holes in this and make it into a TN and also use it as a folio or you know just as a notebook cover I did make holes in this pink one although I use it as a folio you know just slide the b6 in there but because I'm not sure how this is going to hold up I did buy a second one just to have it and that is it so we have the de-ringed and then you can you know have it into turn it into a tn um and then there's some that I prefer to leave in rings. Well, I, you know, it depends on the mood. Sometimes I'm just sitting here and kind of want a different cover and I will do ring some. So these are available. These are all um, available to be de-ringed if, you know, if 
the moo calls. <laughs> but that's all I have and I wanted to share today, try to give you some ideas. So if you want to run to Michael's and get some um, extra journals or planners for $5, you can use them as a, you know, turn them into a TN. You could de-ring them and use them as a folio. Um, and you could just, you know, use them as is, um, as personal ring planners. They're great, economical, and I... I really enjoy them. But anyway, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And please like this video. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe so you can get notified of all my future videos. Till next time.